So depending on where you've got your Epsom Eco Tank, that's ET4750 from, then you might be entitled to an extended warranty. If not, you can go to Epsom's website and actually buy one. But if yours comes with a free one, you need to go to the website here. Obviously, if you live in America, it'll be a different um, HTTPS address. I live in the UK, so I'll come to this page. Go to epsom.co.uk if you live in the UK, or slash promotions, slash extended hyphen warranty. And then all you need to do is once you're on that page, you just literally scroll down the page and this is where you apply. You have to make sure you're filling all these details here. And then the model. You go down here, click, find what model it is that you've bought, and then you can see if it definitely is in the warranty. Once you've filled out all the details, you click add product and it will ask you for your serial number. So once you click through add product, you'll then be taken to this other screen where you have to select your printer, in which case this is an inkjet. You have to set your model ET. 4750 your serial number your date purchase when purchased and add be very careful because when i went to find my serial number i got this wrong so basically i thought this was the serial number because that was attached to the box see that number there that's what i thought was the serial number but it wasn't the serial number i've marked it with an asterisk that's the serial number for this model made in the Philippines. That's a serial number. It says serial number there in large light letters. So when you put in the serial number for the ad product, you have to leave out both the asterisks and just type in the number in between them. Oh, and don't forget to take your documentation off. You must make sure that you register it also within 30 days of purchase. If you don't, it's invalid. And you must keep your receipt because if you don't keep your receipt as original proof of purchase of where you bought it from, then you won't be entitled to the warranty. I bought it through a company that had three year warranty actually included with the price. But there's another company I saw that just had a one year warranty. So if you've got just a one year warranty, then you would need to actually go through and um, purchase a warranty. For Epsom so you can go on this site or get some help phone them up and get another warranty on it so your first year is your guarantee and then you have two more years on top of that if you want to buy it but obviously if you can get an extended warranty get an extended warranty if it comes with a deal it's really good why not uh, it's not an on-site warranty though so basically if something goes wrong with your machine then you have to send it to um, a service centre there's apparently two in my city or back to their actual you know Epsom itself um, and if you bought it through a third party it does get a bit complicated because sometimes you have to phone the third party then they have to arrange for a courier to come and get it or you have to send it off and usually have to pay for the postage the, the car you know the the courier charge to get the printer back to the manufacturer or to a service place so that they can repair it for you so um it's not an on-site warranty on-site would mean in your home or business is it a warranty where you have to send it off somewhere if you went to add product and you did it incorrectly which i did earlier because i included the asterisks for the serial number then it'll come up with this message saying registration failed. This is a screenshot earlier of what happened for me. So make sure that when you do get the product that you don't include these asterisks here. You just include the number in the middle of them. I know it might be common sense, but common sense isn't always common practice as you can see. I'm, I'm personally does everything literal. So if it says serial number here, I literally copy everything that's in the serial number. So if you've entered the information correctly, you'll get a registration confirmed page like this. If you've entered it incorrectly, you'll get a red message saying registration unsuccessful. And then you'll have to go back and start over again on the add product section. 
And it does say that they don't email the confirmation page, which is a pain in the butt. Um, you have to print it off yourself. So if you haven't finished setting up the printer yet, then it basically means you need to keep this page open until you've got the printer working and then you can actually print it off. It's a good test though, because at least you know you've got something you need to print. So to be on the safe side, in case you have a problem with printing this out later, or for some reason your Mac or your PC stops working and this window closes, uh, make sure you do a screenshot. That's what I've done. I've taken a screenshot of this confirmation, which is good as printing it off basically and then you can print off the screenshot later or obviously you can keep that on file forever in a day as well and send it off to them if they need it i highly recommend you print it out anyway because it'll have additional information on you if you want to print it out but um it's good that you've got this on a screenshot it really really is